Hey, welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we are reviewing a small app that's uh, available if you have a Hotmail account or MSN account or a, a live Windows, what's called a Windows Live account you have available with that account something that is called SkyDrive SkyDrive is basically a storage space available to every user that has one of those accounts and uh, what's cool is they've added a uh, SkyDrive app for iPhone so for example uh, if you go into the App Store and type SkyDrive you'll see that little icon with blue clouds you download it, it's free of charge, and then uh, when you click on it, you'll set up your uh, Hotmail account address with password. And then you'll be brought to SkyDrive, which is pretty cool. Gives you all of your um, SkyDrive folders already will be there. If you have um, stuff that you want to put online from your iPhone, so for example, Yes, there is iCloud that will save lots of stuff from your iPhone, but it might be cool to have also the SkyDrive because you can share with other people easily through SkyDrive that have uh, Hotmail accounts also. So what you do is um, when you uh, set it up first, if nothing is there, you'll see just the basic uh, folders. Here you can see all of my folders that are there. Um, already written there so I had the documents at the top and stuff like that um, so if in your phone for example what I like to do is send some of the pictures I have on my iPhone and send them on a SkyDrive so that I can erase them from my iPhone 5 and since I have my Hotmail account set up on all devices you can easily go to the SkyDrive on a PC, a Mac and uh, take a look at your pictures and show them to everyone which is pretty cool and you can also share them so it's a very very nice app um, you have at the bottom some possibilities so you got the files which shows you your different folders available on your SkyDrive you also have recent it's going to show you all the recent documents and stuff that you have on then you have shared this is the place where you can share stuff with other people so SkyDrive can enable you to for example do a little folder that's going to be shared with other people uh, if you want to you know just have that little uh, a few pictures or documents shared this is pretty cool for that and then you've got your settings at the end settings that shows you uh, the address used the storage space that is available I've got seven gigabytes. Um, photo upload and download. Um, it says original. What that means is that the size can be changed if you don't want to have the full size of different pictures on because they take a lot of space. If you download pictures from the SkyDrive, for example, into your iPhone or iPad, you can uh, click the resize and have smaller versions of these pictures so that your memory in your iPhone or iPad doesn't you know, run out just because you have too many big pictures and um, of course this is the place where you can sign out also and how it works well you just click on the upper right you see that little uh, kind of curved arrow click on that and then it says you want to add items or edit items so it depends what you want to do. You can click Add Items, and then it's going to say, "Oh, you want to create a folder? Do you want to take a photo or a video?" Then it's going to turn on your iPhone camera and basically send that directly to SkyDrive, or you choose Existing Folder so that you know that you'll put something in that folder. So depending on what you want to do, you choose whatever option. If you choose Existing folder then you'll be uh, sent through that folder and asked okay what do I want to do in that folder so if I choose existing for example it's gonna send me do you want uh, the camera roll so do I want to do I want to take one of my pictures and send it through
through a sky drive so I can go here click you see it makes that little um, red arrow at the bottom so you choose whatever you want and once it's done you click the upload button at the upper right and there you'll see that at the bottom it says OK uploading one of three because I chose three pictures and it's going to send them to uh, my SkyDrive automatically. Uh, one of the things you got to be careful is to make sure that you're into a folder. Here for example I've just sent them directly to the SkyDrive and not into any of the folders. So, um, But it's a cool app and it lets you put online whatever you want to keep them. Uh, it's always uh, nice to have a backup of all of your pictures for example if you have a uh, the basic iCloud account for example you have five gigabytes and um, you know like me five gigabytes of pictures is not you know it's not that much today with the iPhone 5 for example and the iPad taking so many uh, megabytes out of pictures and even videos that you might have stored um, you know that, that five gigabytes is kind of small so um, if you have a Hotmail account, you know that you can use also your SkyDrive to do that function, which is pretty cool. And um, a lot of people have Hotmail accounts, so it's kind of easy to, um, you know, share and view all of the information. So this is the SkyDrive app, free of charge on the App Store. It's really worth it. It's very nice. If you've got a Hotmail account, use it. The SkyDrive is there free of charge and um, it's one of those really really cool um, apps that you can have for your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this review if you enjoy and want to know more about I, uh, iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch apps and reviews. Click the subscribe button you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know. And uh, hope you come back to the iPad Apps First Look channel. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.